Another drug, this one a painkiller, is the focus of a controversy over medical ethics. It involves students at the University of Toronto. They took a course on pain management that advocated OxyContin as the drug of choice, saying it was not as addictive as other opioids. It turns out not only was the textbook they used published by Purdue Pharma, the company that makes OxyContin, the lecturer was a consultant to the drug maker. Our senior investigative correspondent Jen Tryon reports. For six years, between 2004 and 2010, the University of Toronto offered a week-long mandatory course in pain management to medical school students. A free textbook was also given out, written by the teacher. Nav Prasad was one of those students. I still sort of wish that it didn't happen, but um, uh, it's, it's there in black and white. He's since graduated and become a doctor and now discovered what he calls major discrepancies in what he was taught at U of T about the drug OxyContin. And it struck me as odd that uh, oxycodone uh, was being represented as a weak opioid with codeine uh, when in fact um, it's about one and a half times more potent than morphine. So he began re-studying his and his former classmates notes along with that free textbook. He says lectures contained a positive spin on OxyContin. There is um, this quote. Uh, Quotes no endorsed the drug he discovered opioid. never actually existed. Um, and the textbook told students that Oxy was weaker, less addictive than other opioids. The textbook he discovered was funded and published by Purdue Pharma, the makers of OxyContin, and his teacher, Thanks for doing this, I appreciate it. Well, Dr. Roman Jovi has been a consultant for the drug company. And what he's saying makes it seem as though, and I want you to clarify this, you were receiving money from the makers of OxyContin to promote the product to medical students at U of T. To absolutely false. Jovi says OxyContin has been hijacked by naysayers worried about a small population of addicts. He says the drug works for pain patients who stay closely monitored. But you know, I have to sleep at night. And I don't think you could buy that from me. I mean, if uh, I would never say something untrue uh, because I'd get some percentage from it. <laughs> Instead, he says he did the six years of lectures at U of T for free, but not anymore. So as a result of this being brought to our attention, uh, the book was removed uh, immediately from the uh, 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 curriculum. The lecturer was not invited uh, back. And nearly 1,400 former U of T medical students have been contacted, told to disregard the textbook that was the basis of their training for a drug that has gone on to be more heavily prescribed in Canada than anywhere else in the world. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Toronto.